as officers and soldiers of the Nigerian Army are in the trenches fighting for the protection and oneness of the nation. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Yusuf Buratai, and his principal officers are daily initiating projects to make lives better and comfortable for them and their families. The living conditions and environment of officers and soldiers is a daily concern to General Buratai, and this he marshaled out to make comfortable for them. What is the current state of barracks of the Nigerian Army today? In this episode, we'll be taking a look at moves in giving officers and soldiers what can be called a living home. The appointment of Lieutenant General Tuka Yusuf Buratai as a Chief of Army Staff marked a total turnaround for the Nigerian Army and brought in an administration ready to reclaim the glory of an army once seen as one of the best ground forces in the world. Lieutenant General Buratai, armed with experiences gathered from both national and foreign missions, set out to change the status quo. First, changing the mindset of officers and soldiers, knowing full well that if his vision of having a professionally responsive Nigerian army in the discharge of its constitutional role must be achieved, then his men must be well motivated. The soldier, a human machine who does most of the difficult and unimaginable task just to ensure the safety of lives and properties of fellow citizens, configured to listen to the first command but obey the last order, sworn to live or die so long the territorial integrity and the international security of the country is intact. The life of a soldier is all about service to his fatherland, ensuring that every part of his country is safe for citizens to go about their lawful daily endeavours. Most often, the Nigerian army is expected to quickly mobilize when there is a serious breach in security or serious threat to national security and to seamlessly restore normalcy to areas where their attention is needed. But many a times, the well-being of these soldiers who put their lives on the line are not prioritized. In recent past, the army has become a major target for terrorists who believe if they are able to run over military bases that are located in remote areas, specifically for operational purposes, that they will cut away military hardwares and show dominance, killing and inflicting permanent injuries on officers and soldiers. Many have wondered, what is the country giving back in return to these gallant officers and soldiers? A visit by Lieutenant General Tuku Yusuf Buratai to some military bases and cantonments across the country, in line with his vision for the Nigerian army, brought clearly to fore the need for a better and conducive housing accommodation for officers and soldiers. Officers and soldiers, and indeed their families, could be seen in housing accommodations not befitting to be called home, a situation that has lingered for decades without any attention. Some of these structures were death traps, putting the lives of soldiers and their families at risk. The climate change, which today is a global phenomenon, has not helped issues, as increase in rainfall has made some of the families of soldiers homeless, especially during rainy season. The soldiers, most of the times, are distracted when they remember how helpless their families are back home, mostly during rainy season. But this... Lieutenant General Buratai was determined to change. According to him, the mental and psychological state of mind of officers and soldiers will be greatly enhanced if they are provided with a decent housing accommodation for them and their families. He believes that soldiers will be ready to give their best when they are sure their families are well catered for. The Chief of Army Staff, then directed most of the dilapidated barrack accommodations across the country to be remolded, refurbished 
and in some cases, a total reconstruction for a better living condition for his officers and soldiers and that of their families. We remain very passionate about the welfare of our troops. I strongly believe that a well-motivated army is the version of military victory. In this conviction, I have pursued vigorously the construction, renovation, rehabilitation, and indeed, the development of new structures for both officers and soldiers, their living quarters nationwide. I have also, within the period under review, directed the payment of the new ration cash allowance, operations, and uniform allowance as approved by Mr. President. The Nigerian Army University view is fast developing in terms of academics and infrastructure. I have directed that the Nigerian Army constituency must be given further preference in admission and job opportunities in the university. Similarly, the Nigerian Army Welfare Holdings Limited has established and incorporated several welfare-related companies that will be beneficial to personnel and their families. These include the Nigerian Army Farms and Ranches Limited, the International Livestock Market at Giri, Abuja, the Norgi Gas Land Plant at Mambila Barracks, Abuja, Agent Banking, the Nigerian Army Barracks, the Super Green Securities Limited, and the launching of the Micro Distribution Centers of Gas Penetration Plants in collaboration with the Ministry of Petroleum Resources. The plan is to duplicate these laboratory efforts nationwide. With these and comprehensive welfare packages in place, I have no doubt that troops of the Nigerian Army will be motivated to give their best in the discharge of their constitutional responsibilities. Few years down the line, the story is a total departure from what soldiers and their families were used to. It's no longer the usual barrack environment of shanties and makeshift structures, but a more conducive living environment for men and women who have devoted their lives to the security and safety of all. The families of these gallant officers and soldiers could now breathe a breath of fresh air, all thanks to the purposeful leadership of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuka Yusuf Burutai. The Chindit Cantonment Zaria, home to Nigerian Army Depot, was one of the beneficiaries of the good gestures of the Chief of Army Staff, as over 16 blocks of flats, remolded by the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General T.Y. Buratai, designed to give the families of soldiers what they could regard to as home, were commissioned. <laughs> The current housing needs of the Chindit cantonment, due to overstretching of the existing infrastructures, will soon be a thing of the past as the Army has acquired the Cotting and Agricultural Processors Limited, Zaria, to expand the cantonment and cater for the housing needs of officers and soldiers. Top-ranking officers of the Nigerian Army were taking on a tour round the newly acquired facility that will soon be put to use in a matter of months. A visit to some of the cantonments and barracks across the country, one could visibly see how the Chief of Army staff has affected the lives of soldiers and their families 
as most of the structures have either been refurbished, remolded or totally reconstructed to the admiration of all. Well, I want to thank our, our chief of army staff for doing good work so far. Before the work on this house, it was terrible that time. For example, during rainy season, we used to fetch water in our house, inside our parlor, our room. But now they have worked on the house. As you can see it, they painted it, put uh, armaco glass and falling doors. In fact, now we are now enjoying the house. Not unlike before, it was something else. We are very, very grateful for the good work so far. Like before, using my own block, most especially my own room, it was so bad. And my house everywhere was, was reeking and a lot of things, but now they, they renovated the house. It was okay. I am enjoying it. The house is okay. The, the, the ties and everything, the, the stress is not much. At least you cannot mop the house much. A lot. And the aroma, everything is okay. I'm enjoying it now. God will surely bless him. And God will need him. God will meet him at the point of his need. And for remembering us, most especially my room, for remembering us, I'm so grateful. I'm so, I'm so happy. So the place before is too bad. I repair almost three times. I use my money to repair the, the, the roof. So, but we thank God for the chief of army staff. He helped us repair the house for us. We thank him. May God provide for him. The place before, you know, good like uh, now, because before the rooms, uh, then they link, and uh, now as uh, they repair the place, people go pay okay, and the environment go, the environment now good, because before some this uh, uh, ant snakes. Then they run up and down before, but now that they repair the place, the thing, they okay. We know they feel any bad or any uh, uh, peer if a rainy season come. The General Officer Commanding made a presentation to the Chief of Army Staff on the need to put the, some of the buildings in order. Immediately, the Chief of Army staff responded and requested and directed that 10 of these 30 family blocks should be rehabilitated. And on, the, on that note, we started and completed it. He even came in to inspect this building when they were under construction. So you can see them, they are scattered, they are not just in one place. What happened is, when, when we are asked to make renovation, we take the worst buildings. So, and they are not always on one side. So you take, you go there, you take another one, you take the worst ones. The reason is to save the blocks from further dilapidation and then subsequent collapse. So we had 10 very bad ones that uh, the chief approved and made uh, funding for them and they were all renovated. So before our block, no fine like this. This is where the repair and don't better now. We are okay for our block now. The water before up, the leak everywhere. Toilets, everything dirty all before, but now it's normal now. When I'm in STF, uh, nobody in my room, my properties will be damaged with water. So sometimes I will take permission from there to come and sweep or give the key to somebody. Mm -hmm. So now we are very happy for renovating for the chief of army staff, making this block to be one of the renovated one mark for the renovations. So before the third floor, nobody is living there because the up has been damaged. So during rainy season like this, we do, whether we are in the center floor, we will go and sweep the rain, the, the water. If not, the water will be uh, dropping down in our rooms. So actually we feel uh, very happy for the Chief of Minister Staff renovating this block, sir. We are very, very happy. We wish him uh, more grace to his elbow. We appreciate God for every time. We also appreciate the current management for what they did for us, because then, when we are talking of this block, 
There's nothing to write home about. Everything was just, you, didn't, you can't even believe that. A military man in Nigeria and you can stay in such a block. Everywhere was just, I don't even know how to put it. But now, we are now living in next level. So we have to share God for that. We are grateful. We the women, we the soldiers' wives. Honestly, we are very, we do snap everywhere to show it and post it because we appreciate what is happening. But then we cannot even snap because we cannot post it on social media. But now you need to see we are our children and our kids. So we appreciate God for that. We are happy. We are very, very happy. We are feeling so terrible, but nothing you can do because not be your house. It's army uh, house. It's government house. So sometimes some soldiers they are helping themselves, they will repair the house. So some some sometimes if the thing don't pass your power, nothing you can do. But now as they don't repair the house, we are praying, may God give them the knowledge to do more than this one. Because Kai, to live for inside the house before, Kai, you know they comfortable true. Before this is our block. The up is leaking one way. Even though some people, their property, sometimes it's rainy, it do, uh, during rainy season, some people, they will stand because they, they can't uh, go to sleep because of the rain is entering inside their room. So now we are happy as the chief of army staff uh, appreciate to repair our this, uh, blocks. We are happy. May God give him a long life, give him long life. May God give him the thing way in the fight for life. So we are happy. We are happy very well. We are happy. We really appreciate them for renovating this block. Because before, even when you're sleeping and rain is falling, you have to wake up, seize your sleep, to start doing shifting some of the things. It was really discomfort for everyone here. And at times, sharing the bedroom and the toilet, it was really a stressful thing. Even when you want to go out, you meet someone in the bedroom. You have no option than to wait for the, that person to, even when you're pressed, another person is inside the bedroom. But now that everyone owns his own, you have your own privacy, you drop your things, you know that yes, you're going to meet it here. So we really appreciate. Before, when the block was not yet to be renovated, you can't even invite friends or family to come here because they'll be thinking, why will you come and st stay in this kind of place as a soldier in Nigeria army? But now, even when they don't want to come, we still beg them to come and see the place. So we appreciate. This place was not good before. The house was not good at all. It wasn't nice at all. But the GOC and the chief of army staff came to our head. One day they came and visit and we complained to them. That very day, they said renovation should come to this place. They have been renovating this place, going to other blocks. But that very day, we complained to them. They answered and uh, the response is what we are seeing now. We appreciate him, we thank him for renovating this site. And we will still want him to use his office to do more for us. But the little he has done for us, we appreciate it. But this house was so bad and it was just everywhere, you know, anywhere that you put leg in. Now anybody that comes, they begin to, they're really happy and we are telling them what, what um, the chief did for us, the chief of families that did for us because one day on the 25th of January, to be precisely, the man, chief of um, GOC came and we were just complaining and he just said, today you will are packing. I said, ha, ah. he said, we're going to do it right now, just count five blocks. And when we said, five blocks, he said, just count from here. He said, okay, yeah. It's not up to five. The other side, you can take one. And immediately, he just marked them all. And he did all this. We are just thanking because this house is so beautiful. But what we are just now asking again, we please with them. For Osho, the barracks, we don't even have light. Even the towers that we have, others have, we don't have. We just please and demand and ask him. We know that he's a good man. Because what he did, everybody comes, they are always praising. So we are just asking for that. He should come to us and do that for us. Uh, we are happy for the job where Chief of Family Staff do us. This is our area before. You can't take this place, even they give you. Because all this place don't rot. The houses is not good. It's very bad. But now, everywhere is shining. We thank God. All our roofs is still the leak. But they never do my own side. 
I they beg the chief of army staff, please come to our own side. Any other person where if we do this thing, may come to our own side. Look at my area where I'm living. But if I face this place where they do, I will be happy. If, if they do my own, I will be very happy. Please, they should come and do it. Oh, the work is good. Oh, they should continue doing it like that. Another, another thing that is disturbing us, we don't have light over six months for this place. And we don't have water. Before we will get water, we have to donate money and pump the borehole before we will see small water to drink. Now we used to pay uh, money for water, money for fuel to generate our, uh, this thing. Please, they should come and help us in this Osho de Barak. We are suffering. The house is good, but our online is bad. They should come and do it for us. At least, we thank them for the work. Oh. I'm so grateful with our chief of family staff, our governor, everybody. We are so happy because this place, they call us Osho de Barak. We have no more Titan, Ajegule. But now we are no more Ajegule. We are Jare. More than Esther, not Esther, Jare. But we still have incomplete Jare so that our Jare will blend. If you say our corner there, turn back and look at it. That is incomplete Jare. So when we move like this, we know that we are Jare. Like now we are pressed. We are the children of the chief of Army staff. If you ask us who is our father, he's our chief of Army staff. So we are grateful to him. that in line with the Lieutenant General Tuku Yusu Buretai's vision of making barracks accommodation conducive, renovation and remodeling of dilapidated structures and provision of amenities across the nation will continue. So there are plans to complete ongoing ones and spread to others. A mind at peace gives his best. All across the country, Nigeria, the Nigerian army environments are getting receptive, thereby making its personnel productive.